Quick tool tip from Chris. When working with your pneumatic hand tools such as cutters, riveters, spin spin tools, and drill motors, they all have a required dynamic air pressure. Now that's an important word there, dynamic air pressure, because dynamic air pressure is different from the air pressure that's reading on your gauge. It's the reading on your gauge when your tool's in action. Dynamic air pressure is what is required for the tool to work properly. So I see a lot of people when I'm on calls and like this tool, the required air pressure is 70 to 90. Dynamic air pressure is what's listed on the side of the tool. They'll have their gauge set like this, 80, right in the middle, which should be perfect. But what they're not taking an accountability for is, is it the dynamic air pressure? Once the tool is in operation, <laughs> you see that the pressure drops to a constant of 40. So the dynamic air pressure on this tool currently is only 40. It's not enough to run this tool. The easy fix for this is jack up your air pressure so that way your dynamic air pressure is met. Once the tool is getting the proper air pressure that it needs, it'll take care of the job for you. Thank you. I hope you get something out of this.